Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to examine whether the following quadratic equation has real roots. If so, find the roots. And one thing, just keep in your mind that the roots are also called solutions. All right. So whenever we talk about roots, means solutions. And here is our standard form of a quadratic equation. Let's compare our this given quadratic equation with this standard form. And we can see that this is a equal to 3. This part over here, b is negative 2 square root of 5 and c is simply negative 5. And now we are going to figure out whether this given quadratic equation has real roots. For that one, we will be finding the discriminant. And by the way, discriminant is b square minus 4ac and now let's go ahead and find the value of this discriminant let's go ahead and substitute the values for a b and c over here so in our case b is simply negative 2 square root of 5 and then square minus 4 time in our case a is 3 and c is negative 5 Let's simplify this thing. So negative 2 square, I can write negative 2 square times, if I put down square root of 5 and then square minus a negative and negative this. If you multiply this thing, that is going to give us 60. And here we can see negative 2 square is simply positive 4. And here square root of 5 square and square root cancels out we got simply 5 plus 60 and this 5 times 4 is 20 20 plus 60 is going to be simply 80 so the value of this determinant turns out to be 80 and since this the value of discriminant turns out to be 80 and we can see that this is a positive number and let's compare over here I gave you a chart over here and we know whenever the discriminant is positive that means we always going to have two real solution that really means yes we have simply real roots so we are going to get real roots and now in our next step we are going to find the roots or the solution of this given quadratic equation and for that purpose we will be using the quadratic formula that i have just put down over here and now let's go ahead and plug it in the value in this given quadratic formula over here so we know that minus and b is negative 2 square root of 5 so far so good plus or minus the square root of we know this is b square minus 4 ac is we already figured out this is our discriminant we figured out the value is 80 i am going to just put down that 80 divided by simply 2 times a in our case is 3 okay let's simplify furthermore so that is going to give us negative and negative is going to become positive 2 square root of 5 and then let's take care of this square root of 80 and I have just copied down this square root of 80 right up here right here and square root of 80 could be written as square root of 16 times 5 and i can split them up i can separate them 16 square root of 16 and square root of 5 and we know that the square root of 16 is simply 4 times square root of 5 so that means i can write this square root of 
it as simply 4 times square root of 5 divided by simply 2 times 3 is 6. And now we are going to uh, look at these two sign positive and negative we are going to separate these numbers and since we are running out of the space over here I am going to move to this side over here on the right hand side I can put 2 square root of 5 first I am going to use plus sign and then 4 square root of 5 divided by 6 when we use a plus sign and the other side 2 square root of 5 minus 4 square root of simply 5 divided by 6. First I use this plus sign and then I use this negative sign. Just be careful this thing and here we're gonna add these one they are like terms so that's gonna become 6 times square root of 5 divided by 6. This, this 6 and 6 cancels out so we got x equal to one solution is square root of 5 and on this side 2 square root of 5 minus 4 square root of 5 is going to give us negative 2 square root of 5 divided by 6 and here we can reduce it that is going to become negative x equal to negative square root of 5 divided by 3 this is another solution so thus our roots are sometimes we call it solution set turns out to be right up here and that is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye